Warning, the following video contains images that may be disturbing to some people. The quiet room bears may be cute, fuzzy, and gory at the same time. Your discretion is advised. Hey everybody, I'm Scott. And I'm Kendra. Welcome to another Guru Review. Just bears and gruesomeness and all kinds of crazy stuff going on here right now. That's right. Blood. Bloody, bloody satchels. Bloody sacks. So, for those of you who have been hiding under a rock for the past, I don't know, 25 years or so, there's this amazing artist and good friend of ours, Lee Howard. He's in Canada. We've got several of our friends are from Canada on Boxing Rocks. Yes. Yeah, I've been up there recently. It's cool. Lee. Don't smack talk Canada. We love Lee. And he has been doing a thing called Quiet Room Bears for... 15 or 20 years. It's crazy long time. And he does sketches, he does painting, he does all kinds of commission work. He's crazy. He does fabrication, he does his own cosplay. He makes Quiet Room Bears. It's an idea he came up with, and there's a whole story. The bears, basically, when you're a crazy person, you're in this insane asylum, and they put you down in this room called the Quiet Room. They give you a teddy bear to take with you. Thing, And people would come out missing pieces, noses, ears, and it would be attached to the bear. So every bear has its own unique number. There's no two bears alike. They usually have like these little papers, cool like adoption papers and stuff like that. It's it's pretty cool and the whole just presentation with Bloody Sack is awesome. Yeah, it is, yeah. And he'll do themes, he'll do mashups, he's done every movie theme out there before with Freddy, Jason, the whole kit and caboodle. And every once in a while he, he will revisit a theme five or ten years later, but he never, ever, ever duplicates the same bear. The big box down here we got a while ago, but things have been so crazy, and we just, you know, needed time to kind of do all this. Well, in the interim, I ended up buying a couple more bears. <laughs> yeah. It just kind of happens. You know, when you see a bear, you're either going to love them, got to have it, or you're like, mm-mm. Because some of them, even to me, I'm like, ooh, no, a little too disturbing there to <laughs> So it just depends, but these are all awesome. So it was like super raining uh, a couple days ago. I knew it was coming, so I, I, I rushed to the door brought it in and I said I performed a C-section on the box because I knew that there was a couple of quiet room bears in there. So I grabbed these three out. So he's redone his uh, whole series. He did five more Hellraiser-based bears. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And of course, I saw this and I went, you will be mine. Yeah. I cleared out a space in front of Pinhead, and it was the other Pinhead back at the time, for this one, and it wasn't even done yet. So. Super cool. I like this a lot. Yeah, he did a really good job on like the texturing and everything. Yeah, I mean, it's great. And he'll do stuff where, you know, he rips the face off and puts a skull in. Yeah. Oh, Jack Skellington, we love him. He's had some crazy stuff like the It Bear. I mean, yeah. it literally in the belly was like the street with like the I'm little sure. gutter with a little balloon sticking up. I mean, he is mad, mad talented. And we've got a bunch of prints that are coming uh, down the road. Uh, I think they're going to be here next week. We have some of them here, but we'll do nice big print things. We haven't done a print, uh, Lee Howard print unboxing for a while. Yeah. Crazy stuff he's been working on. That's and so cool. I, I, I love him. He's got yeah. like the little leather work, everything. They're, mm -hmm. they're numbered. So this is number 201. And he's got part of the little merchant's puzzle box Very cool. embedded in the chest. All of them had that. And they all have different parts of the box. And I mean, I love them. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's really cool. Yeah. He's got, like, the palms have had some, some, some fatigue and the feet. I just think that yeah. this is perfect. <laughs> I know you're like, wow, that's a really creepy, disturbing bear. I don't think so. Like, perfect right over there. It's like, yeah, it's the perfect combination of creepy and cute. It's perfect. And that's what it is. You know, they, they'll, they'll speak to you when it's right for you. And it was funny because when I was taking this off gently the other day, he was still all covered up and I was trying to remove the, <laughs> the nails. And I literally videotaped it because I was like, I realized that I was holding this like a small child and I was removing the, the all every single nail had he gone through. So I got and just released and I hadn't pulled it back yet. So I grabbed my phone and I videotaped it and I sent it to Lee. Lee, you know, anything that comes here has got a great home. So it was pouring rain. So I was here when the mail came. So I got them out and I did an emergency C-section. And this is about as far as I got it. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna have Lee in on this. That is a face that only a parent could love. I mean, look at that, Lee. That is like truly, look at the face, those big black eyes. Oh my gosh. So this is really cool. Yeah, I like cool. this. I don't think it's my guy. I think it's just perfect. Mm -hmm. 
I love the big eyes. This is uh, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I love them all though. Everyone he does is super cool. I could definitely, like I know, Lee, I completely understand um, doing one-offs that this is one of a kind. Yep. Yep. Completely one I of a kind. I completely understand. But I can, without a doubt, as a millennial, whatever kind of validation you need from that, <laughs> I could definitely 100% see these in Hot Topic. Like, people yep. would go crazy. Yeah. Like, the little, like, if they had, like, you know, if you made a little, like, like, make a series, you know, of keychains, the little blind boxes. Mini minis, yeah, yeah. Like, 100%, I would, like, freak out and be like, I'm buying this. The, I, like, little keychains. Fuzzy. Because they're a little small. Because, I mean, this is a smaller bear. Yeah. He has got some the bigger. Like he's got the Jack. big ones like yeah. Jack, which are huge. And I'll bring him down then because actually I think the one in the box is the same size as Jack. If not, we'll get him. You can see the whole bearific family. Uh, but there are some smaller ones I've seen him do than this and then bigger bears. And this is about the normal size. The price really varies. I mean, everything is different. There's not like it's this bear is that price. And I mean, we just love supporting Lee. So, and, and these are great ideas. And he's had quite a few where I've looked at it and been like, just not really my cup of tea, no problem. And, and then one pops up and I'm like, gotta have it. It's gotta be here in the collection. So the, this one we'll do is like the companion piece. And this is actually a little bit smaller. I always like yeah. them to come in the sack. He had done five Hellraiser bears at the time, or Hellraiser themed bears, and some of them were pretty crazy, like skin peeled off, like nuts, which it's what Hellraiser is. I always love how he does the sack. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. And this guy sat around for a little while, and I kind of was looking at him. I was on the fence because of one little detail, and I'll show you that in a second. I, I, I've been thinking about calling this guy Stitches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's like been sliced open pretty bad and, and stitched up, hence stitches. The only part that kind of freaked me out was like the uh, the fingers. The fingers, <laughs> and he does that. He'll throw like an arm in, like a little yeah. baby doll arm. Ah, and you know, and it's and it's like yeah, because this makes sense because this is a thumb and a forefinger. Ooh, they're a little Ooh, dewy. They're do ew, it does. It feels real. Dewy, oh yeah. God. <laughs> um, and this one's a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's. I'm 98% in love with this bear. The fingers are kind of freaky deaky for me, mm -hmm. like the freaky deaky shirts with that freaky deaky girl. But see, I like the bear, love the bear, don't like her at all. But I, I just think it's kind of cool. Yeah, like it is. it's kind yeah. of like stitches where he's been kind of opened up and stitched back together, mm -hmm. and then you know goes all the way in the back. So I thought you know stitches would be kind of cool. He still has that little bear ass to him. And again, another piece of the puzzle box. It's just the freaky deaky fingers, but yeah. you can see he's a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple different sized bears that he has, and I know he's even saw, because he's got a bunch out for Halloween, he's even got some super, super mini ones. Yeah, yeah, so like that's what I'm saying, like little mini keychains. But you're talking even smaller now, because once he has, they're small, but they're not that small, but oh, I, I'm okay. sure they can yeah. get that small. Mm -hmm. He did Universal Monsters, like Wolfman, Dracula, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, all that. It was a whole series he had. And I fell in love with two right out of the gate. Now you say, well, there's only one here. That is correct, because somebody beat me to the punch. Sometimes he puts them up on his Etsy store and they go super fast, or maybe they hang for a little bit. And other times, the, some of the big, big bears, uh, usually the theme bears that are really big, like Jack and the one that's in this box, he'll put them up on eBay. Right now, he's got a Michael Myers bear up on eBay right now. And I always said I wanted to get a Freddy, a Jason, a Pinhead. No, we got Pinhead. Yeah. <laughs> We're working on it. So this, I really wanted to get Frank. Oh yeah, you did get this one. I oh, wanted, I wanted to get Frankenstein really cool. and the yeah. Bride because I have this thing about getting the couples. Like yeah. eventually, there's going to be a Sally for Jack. I, I know he's talked about it off and on for a while. I saw the Bride. I tried to get Frank first, and he was gone within like two minutes of him putting it on the store, and I was very sad. If you bought Frank, you should have bought the bride. I mean, why would you just gonna let her sit there like that? It'd be a package deal. And I'm like, you know what? I was gonna get her anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick her up, and someday we will find a suitable mate for her. You can put her with Jack. Yeah, I was thinking that we could put her with Jack. That's cool. Isn't this neat? Yeah. 
and I just saw her sitting and I was like so sad. I'm like, that's it, then. It's Leah. I'll, I'll bring her home because she'll have a, a good family here. I figured at that point, we just had Jack, so she'd sit with Jack. Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. And the 198, and then she's got the freaky deaky skull in the back. So she's got that bride of hair. That's cool. But see, this is one of those things where it's like, it's that macabre, weird look, bloody skull in the back, but she's got that Frankenstein bride of face yeah. in the front. She stitches, she's got those little little people inside of her body. That's what's really cool to me is all the little Barbies in, in the body. I like really didn't play with Barbies that much growing up. So to like have them like this, yeah, to have them like this, it's really cool. Cause like, I don't know, it's like. A little more upper alley with yeah. her, you know, we didn't have dismembered dolls or anything around here, but you know, when you got creatures all over the place, it's like, mm. Yep, and then you got her head, which kind of, it looks like a, like a doll, like a Bratz doll or mm -hmm. something. And then on the back, did you see this? I yeah. did. I love it. That's really I love cool. It. And it's cool, so it's kind of like either way her hair is coming out. Like it looks like the hair is coming out of the skull too. Yeah, and it was really great because he did just that whole hairstyle yeah. with the the white, like in the in the movie it's where it's the Bride of Frankenstein. You know. Yeah, so he's got he gets he gets to where he gets the bear, and then yeah. he mixes you know human or you know doll limbs in with it. Super cool. Yeah, one. this is really cool. I like all the little Barbie dolls from that. That's cool. This one had showed up earlier in the year. The big boy bears come with the paperwork. I call it like the adoption papers. Yeah. We got it for Jack. And it's cool because it comes sealed up. It comes like, you know, usually on top of the sack or inside the sack. I'll let her look because there's all kinds of goodies in there. And that's a big boy bear. Look at that. He's just dwarfing. Well, yeah. So he does a lot of his stuff with the the stickers, the quiet room bear. He's got shirts available. Oh, he has shirts? He's got shirts that have the logo. Mm -hmm. And then included is the story uh, of how the whole quiet room came about and the quiet room bears. It's disturbing. Oh, this is a sticker. That's Super freaky, cool way. This is where it began. In Patton Hills, just beyond the pathway of live oak trees. Russ Covington Place. Originally built in 1866 as a plantation house, the building was later turned into a hospital for the mentally ill. There is a room on the second floor at the end of the hallway with no windows. This is the quiet room. The plans for the building included windows to be installed, of course, but the quiet room itself insisted it be built without. Nobody questioned it during its construction. The hospital administrator, believing all mental traumas began in childhood, would place inmates into the quiet room for a session. With them, he would send a teddy bear, the symbol of childhood, along with other small toys, string, wire, twine, needles, scalpels, and scissors. The inmates would remove pieces of themselves, teeth, eyelids, perhaps an ear or a finger, and they would sew them into the bears. They literally poured their blood, their tears, and their madness into each bear, now a vessel of sickness. The hospital administrator would do this because the quiet room would tell him to, whether he realized it or not. Everyone in the building was a slave to the quiet room's whisper. Once these quiet room bears are created, they are brought out into the world. People know of them, but they don't know how. People want them, but they don't know why. And once you have one, your life slowly unravels as darkness and mania destroy you. Before long, you're removing pieces of your body and sewing them into a new bear. The words, quiet room, freshly carved into your bedroom door. And then we got Prince. He closes print, yeah. and he always includes prints of some other bears that he had. Again, no two bears are alike. 
And he signed this signs him. This was one of his early, early on. Um, this is number eighty four. I think this is one of the original mm-hmm. Hellraiser bears that he had done. Yeah, like this one. Oh yeah, I, know, I love ours. Now this, this like when it passed up. This was a big bear. This went on uh, eBay. I'm a big fan. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's a Jason. Yeah. It's a Jason. Mitch. So I had to get him because now we've got Jason and Pinhead. I thought it was great because it's number two hundred. He's a big bear. Yeah. Big, Whoa, oh, heavy that's cool. bear. Yeah, like the, he's got yeah. the camp girl. Uh-huh. See, Lee does all these. I just like the like the form baby. Yeah, because that's how Jason yeah. looked early on was his whole thing, mm-hmm. and and he kind of did a, a hybrid between two and three because in two, Jason had a burlap sack mm-hmm. with an eye hole cut in it, and in three is where he actually picked up the hockey mask at the very end of the film is when the hockey mask became an item for Jason Voorhees. And he's got these kind of like goofy eyeballs in here. Yeah. And it's kind of like that. There we go with the eye. So, and he does not have a pretty face underneath, <laughs> which you can imagine, like, Jason never does. Let's show how nasty he is underneath him now. Oh, cool. that's cool. If you've got a weak heart. <laughs> I like him with the mask on, because he can be kind of a nightmare. Oh, yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> so, I thought, well, you know what? That is definitely only a face a mother could love. It looks like Super Meat Boy. Yes. Or you can put a hockey mask on mm-hmm. and cover it up, which to me seemed like the appropriate thing to do. So I I love him with the hockey mask anyway. And it's very sturdy. Dad hasn't broken it yet, so you know it's sturdy. Oh, yeah, quality. yeah, we're good. I mean, I'm sitting over here struggling <laughs> yeah. with the mask, and it didn't go ching, and yeah. like nothing like that happened. So, yeah. so you know that this mask, you know, and everything it's is dad proof. Yes. <laughs> so love him. I mean, this is the big boy bear, big, lots of weight. Mm-hmm. And he's still fuzzy. Oh, this big. Oh yeah, and you could just squeeze him because he's just just close your eyes for a minute and just touch the nice fuzzy like oh you just squeeze yeah, the fuzzy. Yeah, so it's like cute. It's like latex. Like. Yep. Because he's been. I mean, let's face it. Jason has had a rough baby. go. Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, I thought that was great. I'm like, man, just the symbolism because he had what Jason looked like in two and three before they started really walloping him. Just attention to detail is crazy yeah, on these bears. You know, whether you're getting a smaller bear, like Stitches over here, or you're, you're going into a highly detailed bear like the Pinhead, or the Jason here, or Jack. So this is our Jack Skellington bear, which is our first big bear that we got. Yeah, I love Jack. Where he was cool, loved the face, open rib cage, he had the bat bow tie. This is number 190. So now we've got two big bears mm-hmm. and two mediums and a small. So we've got quite the yeah. <laughs> bear family happening here. I asked Lee, I said, Lee, are, are we, do we have more bears than anybody? He goes, no, he says, but you're getting up there in the numbers because there's, uh, I think there's somebody that has over 20. Wow. Which is a lot. Yeah. So we've got a predator one coming. So then we still have to get a Freddy. I don't know if we could ever do an alien one. I mean, kind of, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Probably a lot of stuff, you know, but that would be it. One Jason, Freddy, Pinhead, a predator, an alien. That's it. But he keeps coming up with crazy mm-hmm. ideas for yeah. these bears. Not even the three little bears anymore. It's five. Yeah. <laughs> Link below to Lee Howard's Facebook page. Thank he's got his Etsy <laughs> store. He's got tons of prints up there. You can buy some original artwork, some oil paintings up there, or you can buy reprints, which are nice. Everything is always signed by Lee, though. High quality, just amazing, amazing work. And we'll have some prints coming, I think, in the next week or two. Super excited, Lee. Thank you. Thank you. You know, of course, they always find a good, loving home. Yeah. (laughs) So on that note, we want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe. Comment below. And share with your friends. Until next time, stay weird. Bye.